got our uh, 12 by 12 plate. It's 12 inches. Came in an inch and three quarters, which makes on center eight, uh, eight and a half. And put little uh, punches. I use this little tool here, which is pretty handy. Just kind of push it, spring loaded, and it pops a little dimple. And then that comes and lines up with my mag paste plate, mag base drill, sorry, uh, point here. And uh, then I just pop a, pop a hole. Doing three quarter inch uh, by 12 inch J bolts. I'm doing 13 16 holes just for a little bit of misalignment in the form, making uh, six plates. Using this Evolution uh, S128 uh, mag base drill. It's very, very nice uh, for stuff like this. I could put it on my jet drill mill, but man, setting this up would be a pain. So having a mobile drill press is really nice. That engages a magnet, and that turns it on. And uh, without the magnet, it won't turn on. Pretty nice safety feature. Also got some Evolution uh, drill bits. Actually, back to this, uh, I think that was about 550 bucks, which isn't too terrible. And then the, I got the Evolution uh, set of uh, annular cutters. They have some off-brand ones online. I read some reviews. They're not the greatest, so I went ahead with the Evolution and had no problems. I've punched probably 100 holes with a half inch, and I'm probably up to about 20 with this 13 16 inch bit. Another thing that's pretty useful, I use this thread cutting wool. Instead of using this little top here that sprays out tons, I got this goldenrod uh, little oiler and off of Amazon, probably about 15, 18 bucks. Super useful, man, super useful. I can get right in there and oil when I need to. Uh, it's pretty nice. One little boo-boo I made, put the trash can down here to catch my shavings. I didn't move it. I uh, used a plasma cutter and caught it on fire, so now I got a little melted hole inside my trash can, so don't do that. This is the uh, weld plates. So putting the J bolts in, letting an inch and a half stick up, and once we remove this piece of wood, I'll be able to bolt my plate down. Uh, that's what I was making earlier. And this one, because we don't have a form to bolt it to or to screw it to. Went ahead and just pull the, pull the plate here and we'll shim it up or wire tie it to the rebar. And there it is after the concrete is poured. Turned out great. 